Hello my good people and welcome. I hope you are doing great and uh, as usual this is Code Star Technologies and I'm your host Rico Banks and uh, in this channel we normally talk matters to do with technology and uh, in our today's session I'm going to talk about uh, USSD. I know each and every one of you have ever used uh, USSD or rather you normally use USSD uh, on daily basis. And as you can see, the definition is all about, uh, we, 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 we just, um, the, the acronym means U Unstructured Supplementary Service Data. And this is a global systems for mobile communication protocol that uh, allows us to use uh, or to send messages or communicate uh, with the system using uh, by sending messages using a USSD code like uh, for example uh, star 144 or something like that we normally use to buy credit and so forth this one so I know you are aware of that so uh, that is what we are going to talk about and uh, so I think it's not a new thing for each one of us so let's jump in and start and I was checking I came across uh, one of the companies that normally kind of uh, sub, uh, sell this type of uh, APIs that is um, uh, USSD and there is which this one which you refer to as um, let me show you uh, it's called uh, African Stocking the one that I, I checked because this is a topic that I've been uh, getting for the question that I've been getting from some of the guys from social media and so forth most of them have been asking me uh, at least to explain how this one uh, works so I had to research and ca I, I came across this one and uh, I want us to consume this kind of uh, API from uh, African stocking so uh, basically you can check the prices and one thing you need to note is that uh, uh, they have got a number of uh, uh, APIs like SMS, airtime. If, if you might need to buy airtime, there is voice, the IoT, that is Internet of Things. Now, uh, in our case, we are going to use a uh, uh, USSD. And the uh, first thing you need to note is that um, uh, we have got two types of USSD code. Uh, it, we have got the shared one, as you can see here. Uh, we have got also another one which is referred to as dedicated and as you can see uh, they have explained very well in terms of prices that you and uh, some of the requirements that might need so the next thing that you need is a callback or rather a domain name a working domain name i always tell you you can get uh, uh, some of the companies that normally sell or resell domain names uh, i normally use a uh, true host it's a nice thing they have got a good customer care service so basically you can try them uh, let's jump in and start so first thing you need to do is to create an account and uh, to create an account you need to have um, a valid email address so you can jump in and use uh, use either github or maybe a google i created one using google so make sure you verify your account that is your email address and once you do that now uh, i have logged in so the next thing is to go to this sandbox so that i can uh, check some of the apis that i might need now uh, i hope at this point now you have a working domain name that is a callback because you cannot use a local host something like the one server or something like that that is something I've, I've realized but maybe if you can do check maybe try on your own you can try whether it can work maybe if it works for you you can share with us on the comments so uh, i would like to make this short uh, video very short so let's jump into the ussd and the first thing that you need to do is to create a channel and uh, in this case i'm going to have a code like uh, for example let me say uh, um, maybe like eight um, eight or something like that and call back i'm going to have um, let me copy this one of mine though this is not what i'm going to use i'm going to use a uh, rico banks i think there is this one these are a, a subdomain that we used last time when we were interacting integrating our system with the lipa and pesa something like that so when you log you get you search this is the first page the index page so what i'm going to do is i'm going to have a another folder here, here. so let me paste this one and i'm going to have another folder which is ussd uh, slash then automatically i will use a, an index uh, index.php file there so let me create so that i can check whether it's going to accept uh, it has refused the code so i can make use of one of this code so let me try this one because it's it has suggested these ones i'm going to paste and create 
and I hope it has accepted as you can see the green color. Now once you have that, the next thing is the code. So developers, I will click on the developers and um, once you get to the developers, I will go to the USSD tutorials. Once you get there, I'm going to what we refer to as what? USSD. And the USSD, I can go to handle sessions because I want to use PHP uh, in this case. So this is the code. Now I can copy the code and paste it on my my domain. So this one I can just I've copied the code as you've seen. Uh, so C panel. Let me just create the page direct instead of just creating locally and uploading it. So now I am opening my C panel and once you, I open my C panel, I'm going direct to the um, my subdomain and uh, create a, a folder that is USSD and inside the ussd i want to have what we refer to as the index.php i don't know why it's taking too long so uh, i think it is accepted so let's get to file manager this process i know most of you are familiar with so file manager the next thing is to uh, the subdomain this is a subdomain as i said i'm going to create a subfolder ussd so the ussd i've created now once i create i will open it and create a new file and file i'm going to call it index.php and uh, create the file then edit the file so right click edit and the next thing is to paste my code i know you can understand i copied the code from here so the code i'm going to paste here it's just a simple code as you can see it now this is what is going to be passed by the uh, the ussd callback now i think the rest of the code you can understand you can integrate it with database to fetch some data and so forth so let's test how it was working so first of all i save and get back to the um, african stocking and in this case i will you can use your mobile phone but in this case i will use um, the simulator here as you can see there is a simulator here so i'll click simulator and the next thing is to have a valid number so i'll use my own personal number sorry <laughs> 007 so launch and once you launch yeah i'm going to consume this ussd code so the ussd code it's here as you can see this is what you're supposed to type so in this case let me paste and once i paste now it's going to ask me uh, what i have so i've going to use either my account i want to check my account balance and so what do i need account number or account balance i need account balance so two and send and automatically it's going to display me your balance is uh, ten thousand i think now that is uh, something that you can understand so these are tools that most of the colleges are using for marketing in case maybe you might need to register student and so forth so you can modify the code whichever way you want you can see these are just simple if statements if you need to integrate with the database to fetch data and so forth you can do that so i think now the elephant in the room we have done we are done with it so now you can consume what we refer to as a, uh, the, uh, the 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 ussd code and now you click you can clearly understand how it works so for the about the payment you can check about the payments how they normally in case maybe how they normally uh, make the payment uh, you'll also get the, um, the, the the api key here in case maybe you might need the api key and so forth so that is it and uh I hope guys uh, now the video you can clearly understand how it works so we started by just creating the account once you create an account make sure you have a domain name once you have a domain name the next thing create an uh, channel once you create a channel that is ussd create a channel once you create a channel the next thing is uh, to copy the code once you copy the code take it to the domain name and now the next thing you can use either simulator or you can use your mobile phone to test whether it's working and that's it so uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel share the link to, more, uh, to as many people as you can and in case maybe you might need something else uh, a topic might maybe that you might need us to cover share with us on the comment so thank you guys and uh, have a nice time and uh, i appreciate for the guys who have subscribed to this channel thank you